In the meantime, federal government has urged Nigerian youth to acquire skills in digital technology as part of President Sinovu's commitment to digital transformation and youth inclusion. This call was made at a decommissioning and handover of solar powered modular tech lab at the Federal University Lokoja Police State. Noah Mohammed reports. Reports shows that 55% of Nigeria's youth population is either underemployed or unemployed, largely part due to mismatch between the job market and skills youth are trained in. That is why the federal government under the Bola Ahmed Tinubu's administration has decided to change this narrative to ensure a better future for Nigerian youths. Senior Special Advisor to the President on Entrepreneurship, Development in Innovation and Digital Economy, Jennifer Adigije, is here in Federal University Lokoja, Kogi State to commission Solar Powered Modular Tech Lab. The project is aimed at fostering digital inclusion by bridging the gap for digitally vulnerable. You can see here is that we've deployed state for state of the art computers, pre provisioned with coding software and all the digital resources that they will need for upskilling. The aim of this project is to build a pool of digital assets that can measure up globally and, and position us as that global destination of tech services where we can compete with the likes of India and Bangladesh and begin to attract foreign capital and investment. Almost. The Vice Chancellor of the Federal University Lokoja, Olayemi Akinwumi, expressed happiness with this development and thanks the President for this opportunity as it will enable the students learn more and thrive in the ICT sector. This uh, modular tech lab uh, was actually not part of our program because of the cost. Very expensive, capital intensive, but uh, on the assumption of office uh, by engineer Jennifer Digiji and uh, providing this uh, modular tech lab. We feel honored and blessed that this great opportunity is brought to our school. As extension, we start with the president. I'd like to thank him. The federal government is optimistic that with this initiative and others like it, the goal of reaching 90% digital literacy as a nation in 2030 will be achieved. Mario Mohammed, TVC News, Abuja. And for military personnel eligible 